So a popular Inyanga has responded from KZN. Uh, you might know him if you are like on social media. He's very vocal about what he believes and what's happening on social media. But also he's very skeptical of Dr. Kesheris. Now, if you know or if you remember, there was a recent discussion called Black Conversations where people were talking about African spirituality, God, and salvation. They were talking about that's just the whole thing, church and black spirituality, basically. And we made a review talking about some of the disagreements, and we made an entire full review talking about what was on the show, as a matter of fact. But now, there is a Inyanga who has responded to Dr. Ketelezi. Dr. Ketelezi is a Sangoma slash pastor. Like he pastors a church, he has a church, but he is a Nyanga. He's like a food man and whatnot. You know those kind of watches. And so uh, this Inyanga responded to him because of what he mentioned when he said God, Utuel. When he said God has been spiritually empowered, uh, ritually, he has been ritually empowered. Uh, I don't know towards what or what end was that to, uh, but according to what uh, Kishledesi said, when he said when Jesus died, he was dying at the sacrifice of the Father. So the Nyanga here is responding to that sexuality show, daily Christian commentary videos. Now his name is King Paga. So I'm gonna try and interpret. I say try because these are very deep Zulu guys, <laughs> you know. And so their Zulu can be very hectic for someone like myself who is a vendor. So let's take it on and hear what. Again, I'm sorry, Zokuluma. Today I'm going uh, to speak go to Abul Kulu, about a very important thing, uh, old tinta, which touches Inyanga, a Sangoma, et a Kulu. When he was too excited, yeah, I see. Kulu, Kulu. and he went and he played towards God, yeah, Kulu, Kulu, and he said, God is spiritually empowered. And he did that using Jesus as a sacrifice to empower himself. Because Jesus died on the cross. Because Jesus died. So, so therefore, meaning God killed Jesus uh, to empower himself or to spiritually empower himself. Uh, this thing is very bothering. Now, bear in mind, he's an Inyanga. He also does, like, you know, all these Inyanga rituals, medicines, and stuff like that. So, he says, this is troubling. Yeah, my content. This thing of creating content. Because people, content. they want to do content by playing in areas where you shouldn't play. You don't play with God. God, where he is. If they say God is not there, Maybe today, the things of the earth would have passed with you if there was no God. If they say God, if God was not there, this world would have been upside down. I don't know what I don't know if he means God is the center of all power. I don't know what that is. That's God. God is not endorsing, does not endorse things that are out of hand. Which happens towards his people. So when you now carry his name in the in weird ways also. God exposes. If you are out there troubling people, this particular 
Nyanga or this particular Sangoma that I'm talking about, which is Ketle Days in this case. There's something that he's always bragging about. Which is that he sometimes goes to the graves. And he goes and raises a person he doesn't know. And he builds his, his uh, juju using that person whom he doesn't know. You see that type of a scenario, that thing towards God. I don't know if it's a mistake. This person whom you are going to play towards, he has a friend whom he must care for, like from an ancestral viewpoint, right? Okay. And so so then if you are going and build and building your your muti or your juju with inside this butternut, like you see the shells that they use. Yeah, they are made from <laughs> You don't play with people from the grave, people of God and stuff. It's not something you would even brag about that he does. And God doesn't like for people to be exploited. God protects his people. God protects all those that are outside and in church. If you know God is the beginning and the end. So we are born again, but we saw one cool is win. Mas one ga cool is win. Lapo we are cabana no kulungul. Nizo kumbula de ubuti. If you are too much into the these things, the things of the world and so forth, eh, that's where the exposure gets stuck. Kune kamego. La lenyanga namtange etun kulungul twele kune kamego e ningi. So now he's talking about the other scenarios of other things that he was exposed in and stuff like that. He gives examples, uh, car, whatnot, and competitions. So they are supposedly uh, jujus that have been given to people that are not working. So a 500,000 juju, small little thingy. Uh, which gets to the house of the person and it doesn't work. Others don't even know how they'll get rid of it, so they are stuck. So God is exposing all these things. They say the money got uh, a bit stuck up. There's another point that he mentioned here. But in fact, the So he is in contradiction to God. So God has exposed him, he says. So now that he is exposed, so now he's now angry towards God. That's what he's saying. And how do you know that he's now? So now he is now fighting and you see it by the things that he's saying that God will Okay, so he gives an example of a child to, to, to parents. So I thought this was quite an interesting outline that he gives here gives this outline of uh, the exposure that is happening around this particular thing uh, in Yanga. And he says, because of these examples, 
these things he's been exposed god is exposing him and so forth and now he's no longer just exposing now this man is now in attack towards god so i thought that was quite an interesting one is that not only believers see that something is wrong with the things that he was teaching there but also people that are in that camp people that are in the young ancestral worship and so, so forth they also see they also see that something is not straight now my question on this video is one what about the person that follows him okay believers know doctrinally that no one can say that so believers christians we know that that's completely far from the truth as a matter of fact it's extremely foul right people that are ancestral worshipers they know that why would anybody speak like that so therefore the, these people who are followers where where are they where are these followers in the middle and where is the middle the middle is people who have not made up their mind people that keep wanting to mix mingle the entire christianity and ancestral worship what not these are the people that don't see nothing you see if you had that and you were you you were completely fine with it it tells you where you are you see people this side they see it people this side they see it when i whoop why is it that it doesn't click to you and now it becomes clear so if people who are ancestral worshipers get it people that are not ancestral worship worshipers who are christians see it when uh, claiming to be a christian who practices that stuff where are you where do you stand yeah you see so this one it gives you an example it gives you an example of even if you are that side extreme you can see something is just not right saying that god creator of all needed spiritual empowerment from a uh, juju who twali saubani who is twali saring god if he is twali saring so he's even getting rebuked from that side structuralist show daily christian commentary videos stop mixing because when you st- when you keep mixing you will have to create a barrier line by which only you are right and you can see here where it goes is that you become so far off you are neither one side or one side you are just far off but it starts in error first it starts in error where was the error mixing the error is in mixing the people that follow him where are they in error mixing mixing theology and all this hojes that they teach over there it creates this kind of a scenario where a person is just too far off from being corrected structurality show and i hope this video does find you well where now where are you if people that side can see and christians can see you you can't see where are you